Did you make this mistake on your last public project? I hope not. Let's get started. Hey everybody, this is Alex Barthet with AleanZone.com. Today I'm going to talk about the one mistake I hope you didn't make on that last public project that you worked on. So as you know, as a contractor on a public job, most of those jobs are bonded, whether it's a school board job, uh, a city job, um, uh, for the maybe it's for a county, you need as the public contractor to get a payment and performance bond because those that work underneath you don't have lien rights on public work. So their right is against your payment bond and the, con and the owner of this project is going to want to make sure that you have a performance bond. So most public work requires that you issue a payment and performance bond. The mistake that I hope you didn't make is not recording the bond. Sometimes we have clients come to us and they issue the bond, they give a copy to the public agency, but they forget to record a copy. This is a big mistake. It has significant ramifications for you as a bonded public contractor. Section 25505 of Florida Statutes requires that you record a copy of your bond in the county where the project is located and that you provide a certified copy of the recorded copy to the public agency before they are obligated to give you any payment. So if you do work on a public job and the owner hasn't paid you, one of the reasons may be because you haven't satisfied your obligation under Florida Statute 255.05. The other problem that you have as a bonded contractor uh, on public work, if you haven't recorded the bond, is that the notice deadline that uh, your sub subcontractors and material suppliers to subs and rental company uh, suppliers to your subs, that deadline doesn't even begin to start to run until you record a copy of that payment bond. So if you don't record that bond, that 45-day notice that they need to send you, uh, that time period isn't even starting to run. I'll tell you a quick story about a contractor who we represented who was a sub subcontractor on a public project. They forgot to send their first notice, this 45-day notice to contractor, notice to owner. But it turns out that once they finished the job, they realized that the prime public contractor did not record a copy of the bond. Well, guess what? His 45-day notice to serve that first notice never started. So as a result, he served it uh, late and was paid all of his money. So as a bonded public contractor, remember, obtain a copy of the payment and performance bond. Record a copy of the payment bond in the county where the project is located to start the 45-day clock and provide a certified copy of that bond to the public agency to allow them to start to pay you. If you have questions about public contracting or payment and performance bonds on public jobs, send me an email, alex at barthet.com. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to send an email to me with a question that you have. If we answer your question on the next podcast or video, we'll send you a pair of these Lean Zone construction socks. See you next time.